Time to retreat. I'm no coward. Don't be stupid. These videos are not for children. If you're a children, then piss off. Hey there, it's me, your least favorite YouTuber, The Infuso. And I previously made a video talking about my least favorite Robin, Damian Wayne. If you haven't seen that video, it went a little something like this. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna like this, am I? No. You know, at the end of the day, you're, you're asking yourself, oh, why, why is this person the right person for the role? Well, he is his father's kid. That, that's not a good enough answer. Now, granted, Damien does have the training to take on the role, but he doesn't have the right temperament. Damien Wayne as Batman just, it doesn't, it sounds wrong, and I feel dirty, and I want to shower and cry simultaneously. Damien is fucking annoying. Like, how, how, how? Just how, actually. I don't, I don't have a follow-up sentence. Just how? He's an angry, angsty little twerp who thinks he knows best all the time. With all that teenage angst, ego, and attitude, this guy just comes off as Diet Jason Todd. However, since making that video, I've been exposed to a lot more stories including, and more importantly, revolving around that character. And honestly, I stand by everything I said. Every opinion I had of this fictional child is still a matter of fact. I still think he's an annoying, angsty little brat who was rushed into the role of Robin. He was propelled into a position before even ever really being established. He was an unexpected, unwelcome nuisance, and he made more enemies than friends upon arrival. I stand by all of that. Damian Wayne is still all that I complained that he was before, but he's also a lot more than that too. While there are still problems present that initially make the character unlikable, I know now for sure that it's by design. Damien was never meant to win an instant popularity contest. He was kind of created to be the underdog in such a contest. He was devised to be disliked so he could be further developed. The character was never created to make a good first impression. And I think I kind of took that bad first impression at face value and made up my mind from there. The character on its own, to me, feels creatively lackluster. The new Robin is Batman's biological son and Ra's al Ghul's grandson? Oh, of course. I don't know, it just kind of feels a little bit contrived and lame. But then again, on paper, so does Superman. I mean, think about it. Guy has the superpower of having all superpowers. He's super fast, super strong, super lame. And he's basically indestructible unless you have access to green space rocks. You see what I mean? Saying something is different than actually seeing something in execution and watching it evolve in practice. Damian Wayne is very similar. His backstory and first appearances weren't really compelling to me on their own. I felt that DC just became creatively bankrupt and were just looking to make a big change to try to shake things up. So I avoided Damian Wayne's stories at all costs for a few years, paying more attention to continuities where he's either non-existent or just a non-factor. After taking notice of more projects including the character, I can say that Damian Wayne is different conceptually than he is in execution. And speaking of execution, I think that also plays a big part in the perception of Damian Wayne as well. The character's credibility is entirely dependent on who's writing him. Such a creation is very easy to get wrong. Like I said, he was created to be hated, at least at first. It'd be very easy to misidentify that as the blueprint of his character and overall signature trait. Trust me, I know. Speaking primarily outside the comics, I think there's a large spectrum for Damian Wayne performances. One that ranges from awesome to awful, with almost no in-between. Take, for example, the Injustice games. And actually, to a lesser extent, even the Injustice movie. Here, Damian just makes me think that the wrong Robin died. He is an angry, edgy little prick who grows up to be a less impressive Nathan Explosion in cosplay. He's so needlessly vicious and violent, it feels like I'm watching something from the 90s. We're talking about a die-hard try-hard. This man is so edgy that you could cut yourself on his outline. The fact that they don't go into depth with his backstory takes away all redeeming factors the character actually carries. I think, once again, that's by design here because he is supposed to be on the bad guy's side, so we're not really supposed to sympathize with him, at least not initially, and to be honest, I never did because this is the most annoying version of this character. Without his backstory, his need to disobey and go against his father's rules and teachings are just kind of frustrating. 
Like, it's like he's looking to branch out without any rhyme or reason. The guy's just very cranky, you know, he's very moody. Even when he's an adult, he still feels like a teenager in an adult's body, which is infinitely worse. Because now he has the power of a man, but the mindset of a boy. A very dumb boy. Very dumb, hateable boy. Who just looks like a man. In the Harley Quinn show, they kind of play with the perception of Damien being the hateable wannabe. It's clear that they're capitalizing off the vocal Damien Wayne haters and naysayers. He always thinks he knows better. He's always trying to show his maturity. Instead, you just want to, like, uh, shove this twit in a locker. So there is a negative depiction of this character that is present. And I feel like it completely confirmed my own biases and affirmed all that I knew about this character to be true. So, like I said, it's easy to get wrong, but it's also easy to go a different route with the character. But if you get it right, he has the potential to be downright fascinating. It's interesting seeing the compare and contrast between he and his father, as well as one between he and his grandfather. He's both in danger of becoming his father and becoming his mother's father at any given moment. He takes on both their mannerisms and both of their ideologies, which creates an inner turmoil and a struggle between their two teachings. Damien lives in a state of constant conflict, not just with the others around them, but within himself. And yeah, he may come off as a cocky little twerp, but he has some serious secret of self-doubt. He questions all of his actions, wondering if he's truly doing the right thing, or just doing what he's told. Ultimately, you have a Robin who's not only fighting the harsh evils of Gotham City, but also the evils within himself. There's a very compelling three-dimensional character in there if you just get past his admittedly rough exterior. And when that front comes down, what you're left with is a very sympathetic character. Maybe more sympathetic than any other Robin that came before him. With the obvious exception of Jason. Damien creates a completely unpredictable environment for both the characters in the story and the audience watching it. You never know when or why his allegiance might change. And since he's still developing, you never know what side he'll ultimately end up on. He might be putting in the groundwork for column A, but you might find that the story ends in column B. It's easy for me to imagine the character going either way. Damien's emotional immaturity and rough upbringing make him a danger for all those around him. Because despite his intelligence and skill, we see that he's not immune to manipulation. Actually, he is pretty prone to it, choosing the wrong people to look up to and have faith in. His greatest teachers are questionable at best. But what I like most about Damien is how he affects the world around him. His introduction does exactly what I believe was intended. It shakes things up. And in a big way, it creates new and interesting dynamics in its wake, with the other Robins taking on more of a big brotherly type role to this newcomer. And his arrival also allows the comics to showcase Bruce as a father more. Now granted, he's essentially both Dick Grayson and Jason Todd's adoptive father, while also taking on a bit of a father figure role in Tim Drake's life. But I feel like often this is forgotten in favor of showing him as a mentor, with some dad-like tendencies, if that makes any sense. One of the absolute best things to come from Damien's inception was the connections he made with a lot of the other members of the Bat family. His banter with Alfred is almost always brilliant, as their perceptions of each other is pretty off, but also sometimes pretty on the money. Because he and Jason are so similar, often they clash and butt heads. Sometimes they're downright at each other's throats. And the jealousy Damien feels toward Nightwing is not unlike a real-life sibling rivalry. He's the younger brother looking to get his parents' praise and attention, and he can't help but envy his older brother who seemingly has done that. For all the training he's had drilled into him since birth, being raised not as a child but as the heir to a throne, he was still always written to be a person. And not just a person, but a kid. A lot of the time, the previous Robin's ages were neglected outside of a random mention. They were there, and they were young, but they didn't always act their age. Damien here, however, certainly does. He has more energy and agility. He's usually depicted as being just a little bit faster than everyone else around him, and I can't help but wonder if that's because time hasn't slowed him down yet. While youth definitely has its advantages in comparison to some of the older members of the family, it's not always something that's in his favor. As I said before, he's prone to mind games. 
and has a hard time dealing with and sometimes even interpreting his own emotions. Suddenly, this kid constantly acting up and acting out makes a whole lot more sense. The blemishes in character aren't creative blunders, they're humanizing traits that highlight a tortured psyche within someone who doesn't have the time or tools to effectively deal with them. Psychologically, you gotta think that this kid is shattered. Born to two crime-fighting families at war with one another has forced him to live with a moral compass that points in two opposite directions. And yet, despite this, he tries to push through the righteous fog and do what's right, even when it's not clear to him. Pursuing justice just as his father before him had. Eventually learning to not just blindly conform to either Bruce or Rage's beliefs, but instead find his own. Damien fights for innocence in every form, especially with him becoming the voice of the animal kingdom all of a sudden. And I think this really emphasizes the character's compassion and gives him his own unique interest and important cause. Traits like this help map out the blueprint of this hero's soul. At times, he may be a bad kid, but he's a good guy. And I think that's surprisingly beautiful. And aesthetically, if you can get over the fact that sometimes he's drawn to look like a garbage pail kid, he's got a pretty cool look. I think I've already mentioned this before, but the guy undoubtedly has the best looking gear out of the many, many, many Robins to come before him. I mean, seriously, who is his tailor? I took the liberty, son. So in complete honesty and transparency, while I don't believe that he's the best Robin, I do think that he is a very valid one. He's earned his place in the Batman family, and you know what? He's not so bad. If you hate Damian Wayne just like I did, I'd suggest maybe giving him a second chance. After all, he's only a kid. With all that being said, if you like this video and want to see more Damian Wayne content here on the channel, let me know in the comment section below by leaving a comment saying, Poor little rabbit. I've been your least favorite YouTuber, Vian Fuso, and I thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. I am vengeance. I am the knight. And that was V Infuso. Just remember, if you're not tuning in, then you're missing out. So, if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole, and you too would like to become a V-generate, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, nerds! And if you're not joining the fun, you're in for one bad day. And you know what they say about having one bad day. <laughs> Catch him next time. Same bad time. Same bad channel.